So Mitchell, I know a thing that I get asked all the time is how did HashiCorp you know, come to be? What was the origin story? So I thought maybe it would be interesting uh, if you wanted to share a little bit about sort of how it all came to be. Sure. Uh, so both Armand and I went to the University of Washington in Seattle. And I think we were both on a project also called Seattle. But being in that city really gave us a unique opportunity because we were very closely surrounded by Amazon, Microsoft, and Google. And so we had access with our undergraduate research project that we were on together uh, to basically program against early versions of the cloud for these, for these three companies. And this was long before sort of the greater industry was using cloud. Uh, it was around 2008, so AWS was brand new and Google Microsoft hadn't launched like any official version of their cloud even though they were giving us resources. And uh, Armand was more or less my boss on this project and uh, my job was to come up with a multi-cloud sort of deployment solution because we were a university project, low, you know, low budget, grant based, so we used whatever computing resources were given to us and they were, they were, you know, maybe we get two servers here and two servers over here and we wanted to be able to deploy to all of them. So that was my job uh, and I, I like to say I failed pretty spectacularly. I couldn't get it to work um, and when we were retroing, again, our mom being my boss, when we were sort of retroing what went wrong, uh, we discovered a bunch of problems that ended up sort of becoming the groundwork years later for HashiCorp. Yeah, and I know in some sense, I think it sparked a little bit of our, uh, our entrepreneurial spirit. I, uh, I still saved the email I sent Mitchell. It's maybe like you know, 11 p.m. on a Thursday or something, being like, hey, I don't know what you're doing, but maybe we should start a company. <laughs> and I think you know, instantly got a reply back from Mitchell. We went back and forth and agreed, okay, tomorrow morning we meet and start, start kicking this off. Yeah, I think I responded that night. <laughs> I think you did, yeah, just a few minutes later. Uh, and it was, you know, it was funny, you know, it was first of many failed attempts, I think. Uh, you know, at the time that project was called Amped, sort of after the first initials of all the, the people we sort of gathered together. And it was sort of a learning experience as we went through sort of bad idea after bad idea. Uh, you know, ultimately, uh, we ended up abandoning it and both moved to San Francisco and working at the same mobile ad company, which I think, you know, funny enough, we found that years later, many of the sort of cloud problems were still there. Yeah. And I think, you know, like I said, the years we were hitting the problems initially were like 2008. And so clouds are definitely not used by the enterprise, let alone, you know, startups at a, at a very basic level. And so we sort of didn't view those problems that we hit as a market opportunity. And so we kind of abandoned it for a while. And it was only moving back to the Bay Area uh, and being surrounded by a bunch of tech companies did we realize like, wow, a lot of these people are hitting the problems that we hit like four or five years ago. Um, you know, I, I keep my, actually I wrote down the notes for that retro in like a moleskin notebook and I still have it. And it was like four years later that I opened that notebook and I was like, yeah, we wrote all these down. Like we should, we should try to solve these. And then I think, you know, you left first, right? I think it was November, 2012, yeah. um, left the ad company, started HashiCorp. And I think our discussion continued as to what's the ambition, what's the vision here in terms of what HashiCorp wants to do. And I think ultimately we agreed that all these problems are still unsolved. Everyone seems to be resolving provisioning and service discovery and security and sort of application deployment. And we said, you know, why not? Let's take a stab at why doing not? it once. <laughs> yeah, why not us, I guess. <laughs> right. 